Hey guys, welcome to Bastion Time. I am your host, Bastion. This is Nintendo News, Zelda News, all the news. Let's get to that news. Uh, we've been kind of wondering about how things like the Amiibos, how those will connect with various new games that are coming out right now. Surely there must be some integration, right? So for instance, with Hyrule Warriors, you've got all these different characters. Uh, will the Amiibos, uh, for instance, we know that there's a Link Amiibo. Will that Amiibo somehow interact with Hyrule Warriors? And the answer is yes, uh, it will. And so that's pretty cool. I don't know, they didn't go into details exactly how that's going to interact, but um, I suspect that it will just be something like it will keep track of your... Because, you know, in Hyrule Warriors, unlike a typical Zelda game, it's kind of more like an RPG where you build up levels, and so you have, like, different equipment that is at different levels and whatnot. So I suspect that it will keep track of that stuff in the Link amiibo, and then you can take that amiibo over to your friend's house since it's like a two-player game, and then your Link amiibo can... Uh, say, oh, well, I've got this stuff going on over at your friend's house, so that would be pretty awesome. And here is a controversial subject that I probably should do a Bastion rant about, but I'll just do a news story about it and rant anyway, and that is the fact that there, as you well are aware, I'm sure, there is a Zelda fan parody movie thing that uh, is up on Kickstarter. It's not no work has actually been started on this thing. What they're doing is they're asking for money on Kickstarter to then be able to animate it and release it. And um, I have very strict sort of ideas about what I personally think Kickstarter should be used for, or maybe not what it should be used for, but what I'm willing to contribute to, and I've got to say, I am not willing to contribute to a fan animated video. I mean, that's the kind of thing that you can just make and upload onto YouTube and then people will watch it. And wh why do I need to contribute money to make that happen? Because that happens anyway. It, I, I don't want to downplay the value or worth of fan animated things. I, I enjoy them plenty, but when I'm enjoying them, the creator is getting the revenue from the ads from that, right? That's how YouTube works. So the fact that they need money up front in order to make this is kind of weird to me. I don't understand it. And, you know, yes, animation takes a lot. It's expensive, blah, blah, blah. They probably have to quit their jobs in order to make this animation thing or something, but I don't really think so. I think they could probably do it in their spare time and it would just take longer. And, uh, and, and here's the other thing that's specifically about this particular Kickstarter is I did some research, I went and they, in the Kickstarter, they provide a link to their YouTube channel. And so I went and looked at their previous YouTube videos thinking, well, okay, maybe if they're amazing, if it's like mind-bogglingly good animation and really funny jokes and great voice acting and, uh, not so much. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to insult anybody, but you know. I'm not going to be contributing to it, and I don't understand why they need people to contribute to it when there are tons of people on YouTube who do these animation parody things, and then they put it on YouTube, and then they generate money from the ad revenue. They don't need money up front. I, I just don't understand what's going on there. Um, so I'm, I'm always very dubious about Kickstarter projects that are about creating fan content like... Uh, wasn't there one where there was a Kickstarter project where they wanted you to contribute money to then create these posters? And it's like, well, just sell the posters. You don't need a Kickstarter. Just make the posters and sell them. I don't understand what's going on. They, they were like Zelda posters. Um, so... Anyways, that's my long-winded Bastion rant. You can totally disagree with me if you think it's perfectly reasonable for them to want the money up front to then create these things and then put it up on YouTube and then make that money again. That's fine. If you think that's fine, that's fine with me. My personal opinion is 
I'm not gonna be contributing money to it, so... Uh, maybe I should clarify what I think, uh, what I would pay money for, what I would contribute money for. And that's if somebody like, um, well, this is never going to happen, but if someone like Peter Jackson came forward and said, okay, guys, here's the deal. Nintendo doesn't feel like a Zelda movie would be profitable. I think uh, it would be, but they're not going to, we can't get any studios to front the money for it, but I'm Peter Jackson, you know my quality, blah, 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 blah. I want to make a Zelda movie, so here's a Kickstarter, let's make a Zelda movie. And uh, I would totally contribute to that. If it's like somebody who's established, whose work is amazing, and it's the only way to get that project going because if they can't get backers like studios to give them money then they have to go to the fans right so i'm perfectly happy to contribute to those kinds of kickstarter projects when it comes to like video gamey stuff so bash and rant over and see you guys tomorrow for more news bye